depend on heavily depend on import of these crops. Uh, have no other choice than importing and consuming uh, gem crops produced and exported from uh, the United States and also the Brazil and Argentina. Uh, one thing that's interesting is that the United States is probably the largest producer of GMOs, maybe Brazil or some other place might be up there. But a recent statistics, I think from the U.S. government, show that more than 50 million people in the United States are hungry. So if GMOs are going to feed the world, uh, why is there hunger in the United States? That might be a rhetorical uh, question. Yeah, to, to feed the world hunger is uh, one of the justification and uh, the catchphrase uh, used by uh, the promoter, advocate of uh, GM technologies. But actually, the current, uh, currently available uh, GM varieties are not uh, meant for uh, increasing uh, yield of these crops. So now we can uh, uh, now uh, the the gym varieties now available are just for uh, the benefit of uh, agrochemical uh, companies like uh, herbicide tolerant or insecticide resistant crops or the stock. Uh, of uh, these two, uh, two traits. So they are not necessarily mean, uh, meant for uh, increasing uh, food production. So uh, it's uh, not, in, in that sense, it is not, uh, uh, not, not strange to see uh, the, the food production, uh, the increase of gem crop production, and the, the increasing uh, hunger in the United States. And uh, also, even though the GM crops are uh, developed to increase the yield of uh, uh, yield per acre, uh, they are so you know the corns, soybeans are largely you uh, consumed by uh, livestock and uh, also through biofuel uh, consumed by cars, not human. So, maybe let, let, the, me, let me let me stop you there. So you're saying yeah. the there's competition between people who are hungry and people yeah. driving cars and say eating meat. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Conflict uh, between uh, human beings and uh, as purpose and cars, <laughs> Car, cars and livestock and livestock. Interesting. Yes. Let me ask you a question about another sector. Um, you also are, are doing research in organic food. And you've told me before that the uh, orga organic production performs better than conventional, uh, which, I, which what I mean by conventional is synthetic chemical agriculture mm. or factory farming. Uh, what are the basis of those claims? Um. In my papers, I refer to uh, works conducted by uh, several researchers in the United States and also in the UK. And they, uh, especially uh, researcher, uh, Professor Joe Pretty at the Essex, yeah, Essex University in the UK, have, and his uh, colleagues have conducted a lot of uh, field researches, uh, mainly in developing countries. And they, their, the result of their field research clearly shows that, uh, especially in the uh, developing countries, the organic and other kind of sustainable farming uh, perform much better than uh, conventional farming. And, but of course, in developed countries where uh, farming uh, depends on already a lot of uh, high technologies, including uh, fert, uh, high quality fertilizers and uh, pesticides, herbicides, and also uh, new varieties, 
not necessarily mean uh, I mean, uh, uh, GMOs, but the hybrid varieties are already uh, uh, diffused. And so in the in developed countries, the organic farming sometimes uh, leads to a reduction of uh, decrease of decrease of uh, 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 yield. But in developing countries, it is quite uh, natural to see that uh, their performance, organic uh, farm, the performance of organic farm, farming, is uh, better uh, suited to the, the local condition of farming in developing countries. Because uh, in, if, especially in Africa, also uh, the developing countries, the environment, agricultural uh, conditions or agricultural environment is quite uh, complex and diverse and the modern technologies uh, depending on uh, the agrochemical and the new varieties uh, not suited to that condition so uh, the, the organic farming and other kind of sustainable farming or uh, usually uh, nowadays we call it uh, agroecology is more uh, suitable to uh, such a very uh, difficult and complex and diverse uh, conditions. That's why the, their performance is even better than conventional farming. I see. So, what was the concept that you just used? Ag agroecology? Agroecology, uh, of course, that depends on how, uh, who used that, uh, that term, but uh, now, uh, recently, uh, even uh, FAO uh, refers to the concept of agroecology. And agroecology is not just going back to uh, traditional local kind indigenous farming. Of course, in local knowledge of farming, local knowledge of uh, agricultural environment is very important uh, element. But at the same time, we need to improve the local uh, and traditional way of farming. So agroecology in, uh, includes uh, the use of the achievement of agricultural sciences that do not mm, in uh, agriculture by saying agricultural sciences I mean I don't mean uh, the genetic modification kind very expensive uh, sophisticated technologies but rather uh, such as uh, the understanding of ecology, ecological uh, complexities in uh, in the soil, with in the soil, and also the in the relations between uh, crops and uh, the surrounding environment. This uh, ecological understanding is very important, and uh, partly it is based on uh, local knowledge, but also we need to uh, implement, uh, supplement uh, with uh, modern achievement of uh, science. Yeah, I, I call this advanced organic methods because it's a bit different than the old uh, traditional style, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can say, uh, yeah. Such as uh, integrated pest management, IPM. Yes, yes, so exactly, yes. Yeah. Let me uh, wind up here with a question just about uh, the Netherlands. What are you finding in your visit there? Because you're in Amsterdam right now, right? Yes. Um, so, uh, since 2002, when I first came to the Netherlands to do my uh, postdoctoral uh, research with the JSPS uh, Fellowship, I have been uh, collaborating with some of my Dutch colleagues at the Wageningen University. At the time, I was associated with uh, of course, the Department of Social Sciences and especially the research group of uh, rural development and uh, development sociology and uh, a little bit uh, science and technology studies. And I learned a lot about this field of uh, sociology. But this time I am staying at the Department of Political Science and at the, the Free University of Amsterdam. And uh, originally my uh, my background is a political economy and it's quite natural to stay at the Department of Political Science. But also, uh, none of my colleagues here is working on uh, agriculture and food kind issues 
that they are an expert of uh, political economy, international relations, and uh, other kind of political sciences, and I'm learning a lot about uh, the theoretical and empirical research of my colleagues here. And also, I must say, um, it's uh, very, uh, yes, so the university is located in Amsterdam and uh, easy to access to other universities and other research institutes. And for example, uh, International Institute of Social Science, uh, ISS we call it in short, is located in uh, Den Haag. Uh, it's a bit far from Amsterdam, but uh, still accessible to uh, ISS. And uh, in ISS, uh, sometimes uh, very interesting seminars and the conference are held concerning uh, the agrarian development and uh, the food issues. And also, uh, you know, Amsterdam is a very interesting city, and uh, partly because of a uh, kind of tax haven, but not only a big corporation, but also internationally well-known NGOs uh, located here. And the headquarters, international headquarters of Greenpeace, Friends of the Earth and other kind of uh, NGOs and also uh, transnational institutes uh, organized by uh, Sudan George is located in Amsterdam and uh, it's very uh, good for me to, to access to these uh, NGOs and that's, uh, yeah, that's what I'm uh, benefiting from uh, staying in Amsterdam. Sounds like a, a great uh, uh, fellowship and trip over there. Uh, Shuji, yeah. thank you so much for your time and uh, best of luck with uh, your studies. Thank you.